downtown with more on that separate shooting. Maria, good morning to you. Good morning, Alyssa and Jason. Yeah, this happened just before 1130 at around 1122. But as you can see right now, Metro still on the scene right now. They have several streets blocked off, including Bridger at Las Vegas Boulevard. Now, here's what we know. Uh, we did hear from, uh, uh, pardon me, the sheriff. He said that uh, Las Vegas police officers, Metro police officers and federal officers were actually posted at the George Lo Lloyd George U.S. Courthouse at Las Vegas Boulevard right here last night. He, they were here. Uh, there were some protesters in downtown Las Vegas as well, not just the Las Vegas Strip. They were here to protect the building from protesters last night. This is what we know. We know that a man armed with multiple firearms, he was wearing what appeared to be some body armor, approached that building. That's when the sheriff says uh, officers reached for a firearm and they did engage with that individual, shooting the individual several times. That man was taken a, uh, was taken to UMC where he was pronounced dead. Uh, this, uh, again, a scene is is very active right now. They have several uh, streets closed here on Las Vegas Boulevard. Bridger is closed pretty much all the way. Uh, Las Vegas Boulevard again at Bridger closed in front of uh, the courthouse. It is a very active scene. You may want to just avoid this area if you do have to come down to downtown Las Vegas. But right now, again, we don't know if the man involved, the suspect was taking part in the protest. We don't have a lot of information when it comes to the suspect. This is, of course, a developing story. We'll continue to follow throughout the morning. Reporting live, I'm Maria Silva. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Maria, thanks for uh, checking in with us, and we'll check back with you as well.